there's lots of different ways that virtual reality will potentially transform society. One example is its use as a tool for mood change. We see people come in one way and they come out feeling another way. And it's like, you know, like a mood machine. The potential there is maybe an alternative to alcohol or drugs even. The way that people can experience something firsthand, which they come out feeling something, is pretty exciting. And um, we've also seen it used as a tool for reflection. A survey done um, with our audiences has found that the most common way people feel after they come out of the virtual reality theatre is reflective. So there's something there about placing yourself in a different environment, in a kind of liminal place, in order to learn something about yourself. Then there's also ways it will transform society about our relationship to each other. And something that gets talked about a lot, but I think is very true, is virtual reality's potential for empathy. So by stepping into somebody else's shoes, or at least feeling a bit like you're stepping into someone else's shoes for a period of time, you can simulate that feeling of being there and you can see things from their perspective. It's interesting that when people talk about VR, especially kind of external commentators, they often think what defines its success is how many headsets have been sold. But that's a bit like saying in the early days of cinema that the success of film was based on how many projectors had been sold. It doesn't really make sense because actually there's a real potential and it's already happening for content to be experienced in locations, in museums or art galleries, we've seen libraries, we've even seen VR in bars. It's something where pragmatically you may not want to put a headset in your home, you may not want to create that virtual reality space or even know what content to experience, but when you take it into your social life and you can experience it with friends or family, it actually has a place. So there's lots of opportunity there and we're already seeing that happening across the world and I especially see it in Europe and in the UK as well. People are coming and they're thinking of virtual reality as something to do as part of a night or a day out.